Pictures of Das All Star Cynthia Morgan and Yawade Kruna Bonaboy looking loved up surfaced online, and you can imagine the internet was caught up in a frenzy. Well, there's no more need to speculate because we have Cynthia Morgan on the show via telephone. Hello, Cynthia Morgan. Thanks for joining us on Entertainment News. Now, pictures of you getting cozy with Bonner Boy are all over the internet. Now, while some speculate this is a new couple alert, others think it's a music video in the making. We have you on the show, so you might as well tell us what's up. Well, uh, well what I can really confirm from my end is uh, presently, like, we are working on some very exciting projects together, and we're very excited being around each other, and uh, we share like a whole lot of things like special things in common so like um, I think we're just really cool 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 like cool so that's the only thing I can really confirm from my end like well, pretty much <laughs> I can't I can't say a lot <laughs> yeah now let's talk a little bit about you you're one of the few females who have made a success in the dancehall genre in fact very few females are popular in that genre how have you managed your success well, basically, I think it's all about phone calls and um, it's all about knowing what you want. I, I think it's all about hard work, though. And um, it's all about, like, having a mission and being like, I, 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 this is where I think I want to head for. And it's all about God and all about your fans and all about people that love you, supporting you and everything. So I just basically think I'm, it's just God's blessing because it's really hard. Like, the dance whole journey is really, really hard. For even the guys, not to talk about the females. So that's why it's really hard for you to see a female break out of, out of jet, um, at the jury dance hall in Nigeria and be like you know, I'm playing shows and and being um, uh, a superstar, or being whatever it is. But well, I would just say it's God and and working really hard and having a team, a great team, and working with a very good um, label and then people that actually you know, I probably like I'd say I've grown with my team. I've been working with my team for like, um, I think since I was about 20, 22, 21, yeah. And um, I've been in the industry since I was 17. So I think a whole lot of experiences and a whole lot of hard work and you know where I think I want to, you know, be at. And I, I definitely am not giving up and not stopping. So I think that's the point. Would you say success is one of the reasons you are regarded as controversial? Well, basically, I think as an artist, like, it's what you actually signed up for when you're being, um, when people talk about you and stuff, like, I think Two-Face two said it, like, if nobody talks about you, then you're nobody, so, like, and I think that's one key point from one of my role models in Nigeria, and I think, for me, though, I'm I, I not, I, when people ask me questions, like, um, do you think you're controversial, I'm just a very confident artist, like, I'm a confident person, so, like, I, I, I say whatever I want to say. I do whatever I want to do. Like, I don't really, I'm not really, like, I'm not boxed up. Like, I'm not scared to say anything. I'm not scared to, you know, show how I feel or something. So, like, people call it controversial, but I call it confidence because, like, I'm a very confident artist because it's really hard for you to see one. Because, like, you know, because we've always been criticized by people. Like, it's like you, one person under, you know, the, under the spotlight and one million people trying to criticize you at the same time. So it's a whole lot of pressure, but it's all about you being able to handle it and stuff. But I've been one person, like, I don't really care about the critics and stuff. I just do what I feel like doing because that's the only thing that keeps me sane. Yeah, because, like, if I have to, like, go along with people, the way people would talk, I, I might just go crazy. So I try to I try to keep sane by trying to act human and trying to act my age. Like, people say, sometimes people say I act really childish, but I think that's what keeps me going. That, that's what keeps me being sane to Morgan and being myself and... I think that's the most important part of my life. Like, you know, me being a celebrity and still having, you know, being in touch with the real person I am. Like, I can do whatever I want to do at any time. But, you know, definitely not like before, but I just to try to keep it real, like 100. It's like, I was, I'm, I'm a very real person. And that's what keeps me, keeps me going. That's what keeps me sane. Tell us about your debut album. When should your fans expect it to be released? Well, definitely, but um, I'll tell you, maybe before the end of the year or first quarter of next year, I'm working a whole lot. I'm working on my album already. Um, a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of projects, new projects I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to be working on, I'm working on a new single with Burner. Yeah, so like, the whole lot of stuff coming up. Yeah, basically, the whole lot of exciting stuff's coming up. Say so shout out to my fans. 
shout out to everybody who's been supporting me right from day one. I said I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. Like I cannot wait for, I cannot wait to share my album with everybody because like you know the streets are waiting already. Like everybody's asking when the, when is the album dropping? But basically, we just um, waiting for the right timing and we're just really working hard to you know give you guys the the real stuff, the real deal. Like I'm trying to give my hundred percent and stuff. So like definitely the real soon. Thank you for speaking with us, Cynthia Morgan.